Welcome to an AccuPlacer video feature demonstration. Today we will look at SCORE Web Service Client version 2.0, downloading the client from AccuPlacer, logging in, and configuring basic settings. When logged into AccuPlacer, you can download the SCORE Web Service Client from the Resources menu. Click on the link for Web Service Client SCORE. Find the download for the operating system on which you would like to run the client, Windows, Linux, or Mac. Click on the appropriate download link. When the download completes, save the zip file to the desired directory on your computer. Instructions on installing the Web Service Client version 2.0 are available in the Web Service Client version 2.0 user guide, also available in resources within AccuPlacer. Once you have completed installation, you are ready to log into the Web Service Client and start configuration. SCORE Web Service uses the same type of login credentials used on the AccuPlacer website. If you would like to download all files across all sites within your institution, Log in using an Institution Administrator account. If you would like to pull scores only for a specific site, use a Site Manager account associated with that site. From the login screen for the Web Service Client, type the username of the Institution Administrator or Site Manager account you would like to use. Then, type your password and click the Login button. Once logged into the client, you will find yourself on the Basic Settings tab, which allows you to define the folder path to which all SCORE files will be written, as well as one or more email addresses to which error notifications will be sent in the event of failure. To define your folder path, click on the folder icon and navigate to the desired folder. Then click Select Folder. The selected directory will now appear in the Folder Path field in Basic Settings. By default, SCORE Web Service will create subdirectories under the folder path you define, one for each site within the institution, as test sessions are completed at each of those sites. If you would like all SCORE files written directly to the folder path you define, click the checkbox provided in the Basic Settings tab. To receive error notifications and log files, enter one or more email addresses separated by commas in the email address field. Then click Save and confirm to save your basic settings. If you are already using the SCORE Web Service Client version 1.3 or earlier, and you need to migrate to SCORE Web Service version 2.0, we recommend you follow these steps for best results. First, download and review the SCORE Web Service 2.0 user guide. This guide has information on how to install and use the new version of the client. Next, install the client on a machine that is different from the computer or server on which your current Web Service client is running. AccuPlacer does not recommend running multiple instances of web service on a single machine as it can cause issues with file downloads. Once your 2.0 client is installed, configure the client to point saved score files to a folder path that is different from your production web service folder path. This will prevent possible duplicate files being processed for your student information upload. Allow both versions of the client to run in parallel until you are comfortable with the results. You should see the same SCORE files being downloaded by both clients to the separate folder paths. Once you are ready to cut over to SCORE Web Service version 2.0, turn off the scheduler if you are using one on your current Web Service production client. If you are planning to run SCORE Web Service version 2.0 on the same machine running your current client, uninstall the current client before installing version 2.0. Once installed, configure the 2.0 client to point saved SCORE files to your production folder path 
so that your student information system import procedures can pick up the files from the new client. Use the other videos in this series and the SCORE Web Service version 2.0 user guide to learn how to schedule your client and, when necessary, download scores on demand. These steps should help make your transition from previous versions of the client to SCORE Web Service 2.0 smooth. If you need assistance, please contact AccuPlacer Customer Service at the number or email address listed below.